More than 5 million babies have been born using in vitro fertilization. It's an incredible process that allows couples to have a baby when they otherwise would not have been able to conceive. Mm -hmm. The science continues to evolve, and we are so lucky that Denver is home yeah. to one of the most cutting-edge IVF clinics in the country. That's right. Dr. Mark Bush is the president and medical director at Conceptions Reproductive Associates of Colorado. Conceptions has been an optum center of excellence for the last five years in a row. It's also been ranked the number one IVF center in Colorado by IVFreports.org for the last three years in a row. We're so proud to have Dr. Mark Bush uh, with us here on Colorado's Best for Our Fertility Special. Welcome. Thank you Welcome for having me. Show. This is so exciting. Uh, nice and comfy in your scrubs today. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you should have brought some for the rest of us. Uh, <laughs> but tell us about your background. You've been in this industry for such a long time. Well, I've, I've been um, associated with fertility for 20 years. Uh, my undergraduate degree was taken at Cal Berkeley. Georgetown Medical School, I did my fellowship in fertility uh, at Duke University mm -hmm. and then came into town 10 years ago. Um, we've built conceptions into one of the premier IVF centers in the country and um, uh, it's just a very exciting field to be in. It really is and it's just evolved so much mm -hmm. over the years. I mean, we first started hearing about IVF back in the 80s, seems like, but it's evolved so much and even most recently, you know, we were talking about how uh, it used to be the embryo was like three days old when right. you would do the transplant. Now you can wait till five days? Correct. Tell us about that. Well, um, three things have really revolutionized IVF. Um, injecting uh, the egg with a single sperm, it's called ICSI. We have a lot of acronyms but that ensures fertilization and in our lab we get cleaner embryo development but the point that you're bringing up uh, Paula is a day three embryo has eight cells um, if you can grow an embryo to the blastocyst stage that's the final stage you can keep an embryo in the laboratory you have a decision on that day you can either put it in the patient's womb or you can screen the chromosomes and freeze the embryo in the latter avenue most of our patients pursue Blastocyst development, um, we converted our lab to that in 2006. And the advantage there is if a couple, if I retrieve 12 eggs from a patient, 10 are mature and 8 fertilize, you'll still have 8 embryos on day 3. And so you really don't know which ones are good. Right. And mm -hmm. the problem there is the propensity to put too many back, multiples, mm -hmm. or select the wrong ones, the patient's not pregnant. If you go to the blastocyst stage, you have developmental selection. So of those 8, you might have 4 and then uh, we screen the chromosomes and there might be two that are normal. Yeah, that's great because you used to put a lot of them in that would lead to multiple births Absolutely. and maybe some complications Correct. down the road. And so what specifically can you screen for? What, what are you looking for in, with those extra days? The base platform is that human beings are all made of 23 pairs of chromosomes. So that's the first thing we're doing is looking at all 23 pairs. And so in dish number one, normal boy, dish number two, normal girl, dish number three, Down syndrome or Turner syndrome. And then on top of that, if the parents are carriers for a single gene disorder, such as cystic fibrosis or SMA, mm -hmm. we can screen on top of that. Um, uh, I, I spoke to one of the couples that you helped. We're going to see their story a little later mm -hmm. on in the show, the Benzas. Um, people come from all over the world mm -hmm. to this clinic. Uh, I want you to talk about what sets you apart. I'm going to say two things that they said that were amazing. Uh, your stats are unbelievable. And you create a confidence where the couple goes in and they're like, this is going to happen because a lot of it's mental. And, and they said that you instilled the confidence from the get-go. I, you know, I think I can do that only because of my people, and I really mean that. What we've created at Conceptions is an oasis of not only a positive attitude, um, but we've selected um, three other physicians that are fertility specialists. Um, our embryology team, those folks that handle the sperm and eggs and embryos in the lab are top notch. Our nursing corps, medical assistants, the front desk, all the way back to administration, we've kind of created this we have a center in Littleton where we do all of our IVF and genetics, uh, three satellite offices. At our center, um, it's a freestanding building, we can do, uh, if a patient's suffering from a miscarriage, we take care of it in our center mm -hmm. and we can use that same technology on the placenta to determine for the woman the cause of the miscarriage and believe it or not whether that disorder came from 
the husband or wife, which can really direct future therapies. Incredible, oh, that's great. it really is. Yeah. And you know, we're going to see throughout the hour. We're talking with uh, you know many uh, practitioners of other alternative therapies, and they they work closely with you. And that's what you know. So many people love that they can mm -hmm. work with you on the Western you know medicine, but you also are very uh, open about working with alternative therapies like mm -hmm. hypnofertility right. and acupuncture. Right. Um, we've had acupuncture in our center for 10 years. We're a firm believer in that. Um, we actually have a select group of acupuncturists that are there in our center at all embryo transfers because it does help blood flow and receptivity. And while I'm no expert on Mayan massage or hypnotherapy, I have seen with Mayan massage endometrial linings improve. Mm. And hypnotherapy, uh, I mean, the anxiety and the stress associated with this, yeah. It's such a high stakes game. Yes. Uh, I do think they're very important complementary therapies. Yeah, and we're going to be featuring so many of those later on, on in the show, and we're going to meet one of your uh, couple patients who have been successful not only once but <laughs> twice now. So very exciting to see these stories. Thanks so much. We'll Thank see you a little later. And for more information or to book your consultation, call Dr. Bush and his team at Conceptions Reproductive Associates. The number is 303-794-0045. Once again, that's 303-794-0045. You can also learn more online at conceptionsrepro.com. Coming up.